Hi folks. Well here on this job we're looking at uh, some water damage and the uh, restoration company came in and removed all the drywall and insulation and tested for mold and mildew. And these first photographs show you how the restoration company left the job. So they come in and basically just remove the damaged material and dry it out and test for mold and mildew and then they're out. And uh, the customer called me to come in and, and finish out the, the job for them. So I had to come in and, and clean up the demo job. The restoration guys kind of don't do a real good job of, of the demo. So the first thing I have to do is kind of clean up the mess they've left behind. Then I have to clean up the, the demolition because, again, they just don't do that nice a job of it. So I have to uh, clean up the demolition so it leaves me in a place where I can move forward. And then as you saw in an earlier clip, I need to start with re-insulating the wall. And the clip we just finished was with the new drywall installed. And the next step is bedding the tape, which is this clip here, where the, there's a basically the first coat of mud with the drywall tape. And that coat can take a, a while to dry. But once that's set up, then we come back and I would have to do two or three coats of floating to smooth everything out. Then we mask, as in this clip, and get it ready for texture and then we shoot the texture and this one was just a, a simple orange peel so just a light light coat of texture so here it's shot and waiting to dry and then once it dries it'll get a, a light sanding and while it's drying it gives you the opportunity to start putting things back together so in this clip we've got some trim going back on and uh, now everything's dry we've got it painted we've got all the the trim back on the shutters back in the outlets are back in place and everything is done. So we're just doing a, a final wrap up and cleaning and we are out the door. So we specialize in small jobs, whether it's drywall repair or building range hoods or floating shelves. Heck, the other day I was even pressure washing a driveway. So basically whatever my customers need me to do for them. Keep an eye on the blog and when I remember I'll make a video of the jobs I'm doing and keep you up to speed on what's going on. You have a great day, folks.